Did you know that according to consumer surveys, veterinarians consistently rank among the most respected professionals in our country? Usually because people think of all the great things that a veterinarian does for their pet. Boy, imagine how much respect veterinarians would get if people knew all the things they really do. For instance, do you know what veterinarians have to do with human health? A lot. And that link is more important than you might think. The well-being of animals matters to the health of people. It's easy to see how important pets are to the people who care about them. Animals can contribute to the health of older people and those recovering from illness. They provide independence to those who need a helping paw and can act as a great motivator to even the most reluctant reader. Animals help keep us safe, too. Police dogs protect their partners and help catch the bad guys. Other dogs are trained to detect the smell of bomb materials or drugs. But the interdependence between humans and animals can sometimes be a cause for concern as well. With emerging infectious diseases and the fact that so many of these emerging viruses are zoonotic, meaning they affect animals and people, veterinarians are going to play a critical role in the recognition, diagnosis, and understanding of some of these novel disease threats. Rabies, West Nile virus, and avian flu are examples of zoonotic diseases which are diseases that are spread through contact with infected animals or insects. Zoonotic diseases are a particular concern in regard to our national security. 70% of known bioterror threats, such as anthrax and Ebola, which can be deadly, are zoonotic diseases. These zoonotic diseases are extremely important for our animal populations and for you and I. I serve as a state veterinarian, and there is one of us in each of our 50 states and we work with a list of these diseases that are extremely important. So when they become identified, we can respond rapidly to make sure we not only have healthy animals, but you and I stay healthy as well. We work closely with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, and the Food and Drug Administration to make sure these diseases are rapidly identified and quickly removed from our populations so you and I stay healthy. People and animals may share diseases, but they can also share the cures we bridge the gap between humans and animals. I mean, we have a better background in animals that medical doctors wouldn't necessarily have. When Triumph the dog needed new back legs, Dr. Robert Taylor, you may know him from Animal Planet, gave her permanent artificial legs. Triumph's case is being studied by human doctors and will be used to help people who have lost their legs. Veterinarians have been pioneers in many areas of treatment and research that have been translated to human health. Examples include hip replacement surgery and the use of metal plates, pins, and wires to repair broken bones.